fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, a man's life often depended on the quickness of his draw. The local sheriffs were unable to preserve the peace, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that law and order were brought to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! I was waiting for us on the trail ahead. We've got to hurry. Hello, Silver. Away. It was on a hot, sunny afternoon that the lazy flow of life in Canyon City was startled out of its calm by the sound of a dog fight. <laughs> When the townspeople saw the dogs involved, they realized it was far more than a casual encounter. They emptied their homes, stores, and cafes to watch the battle. Well, one of the two dogs, a great black hound, was the property of old Zeb Crump, and the other, identical in appearance except for its color, was owned by Charlie Teal. For years, the two men had been rivals and bitter enemies, and everyone present was aware that this fight typified their hatred. Suddenly, old Charlie Teal, accompanied by the lumbering figure of the sheriff, pushed his way through the crowd in front of the feed store and ran toward the snarling hounds. Hi there, Lobo. Quick, that, you hear me? Here, boy, here, boy. Lobo, come here. Hey, folks, help me break it up. Give me a hand, won't you? Sheriff, give me a hand. Lobo, stop it, you hear? Stop that fight in this minute. Pete, give me that stick you got. Break it up, you low-coat critters. Quit it before one of you kills the other. Yeah, that ain't gonna do no good, Charlie. What are all you into standing around doing nothing for? Slam hot foot over the cafe, then get a pail of boiling water. That'll do the trick. You betcha. Hey, Charlie, watch out. Uh, Here comes Zeb. Thought you ought to know. Uh, that old fool, he'll get his tongue to wagging from both ends again as usual, I suppose. Don't he always... No, 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 let me through. Come on, get out of my way. All right, if you want to get trampled off, stand aside. Hi there. What's the idea of sticking that howling of your own mind? I'll have the law on you. I'll have you jailed. You stop them dogs fighting right now. Now, look here, Oh, Zeb. shut up. I tell you to do something, you do it. Hey, since when did you get the right start giving me orders? Never mind that. Just now, hold on, Zeb. Oh, it's you, is it, Sheriff? Where have you been all the time? Can you hear me calling you? I I'm... was here for you. Then jail this fella. Go on, jail him. What for? For getting his dog to try to kill my dog. But he didn't. Charlie and me was in the feed store when the ruckus started. You mean to tell you, Sheriff? Oh, the hot water. Well, give me that. I'll take it. <laughs> yes, it's sure boiling all right. Well, here goes. <laughs> there goes Zeb's hound. Look at him go, Kite. 
Boiler water is something he don't dig to. Charlie's dog don't need it. Now, wait a minute now. Here, Blackie. Hey, come back here. Blackie, you come back. <laughs> well, it looks like Blackie's done scooted for home, Zeb. <laughs> When you get there, you'll likely find them waiting for you. Ah. Lobo, if you got burned, it plumb serves you right. Picking fights with trash. You ought to be ashamed. Whose dog you calling trash? Why, yours. Who do you suppose? Why, you That'll be fight? enough, you two. Charlie, you hadn't ought to have said that. Zeb, I reckon to keep the peace, you better climb in your buggy and get on out of town. It ain't safe having you both here at the same time. Can't make me go, Sheriff, unless you make Charlie, too. Oh, he's running along. Don't you worry. Uh. All right, then. But, Charlie... Well? There's a heap of things to be settled between you and me. This here fight ain't but one of them. There's nothing to settle that you weren't the cause of. If you wasn't so all fire jealous... Jealous? What of? You? What dead rat your head? Now, look, fellas. I don't want to have to keep repeating myself. I said to stop it, and that's what I meant. Now, Zeb, you get... Uh, sure. But I just aim to tell Charlie this. What? Nobody does nothing to folks less than they pay for it, Charlie. So far, you've been right lucky. But one of these days, you'll pay. And when you do, you'll be a mighty sorry man. Huh. Goodbye. Uh, honest, Sheriff, sometimes I think old Zeb's clean loco. Uh, ain't he always been? <laughs> I never seen you talk up to him so strong before, though, Charlie. What got into you? It ain't done no good trying to smooth things over, has it? Uh, no. Well, then why shouldn't I tell the old idiot where to get off? Charlie, whatever started all this between you two? Oh, I don't know. Ever do Zeb a bad turn? Well, not that I know of. Yeah, it's a funny thing. I've been watching. It's like, uh, well, I think you hit it right on the head. It's like Zeb was pies and jealous. I mind when you bought that dog of yours. <laughs> Zeb had to have one as near like it as he could get. Only difference between them is mine's white and his is black. Where didn't you build your new house? He hired every hand he could find to build a bigger. <laughs> when I buy a saddle horse, he gets one. <laughs> Even tried to bribe my foreman to come to work for him because I claim Nate was the best cowman I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Charlie, I told Zeb you'd be running along, so I, I guess you better. <laughs> All right, Sheriff. Just as you say. Uh, see you again soon, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Come on, Lobo. <coughs> Yo, Senator, you and me are going home. <coughs> yeah, I wish to thunder I knew what was going to come of this. Uh, what was that you said, Sheriff? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't talking to anybody, just to myself. Yeah? Don't pay no attention to me, Slim. I was just kind of hoping it don't happen. When I know doggone well it is. <laughs> Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. As soon as we reach the top of this hill, Teller, you'll be able to see both places. Ah. Zeb's is off to the right, and Charlie's to the left. They're about five miles apart. Uh -huh. You heard about their quarrel in town the other day, didn't you, Kimasabi? I think I mentioned it. Those two hounds they own got into a fight. Uh, Tonto member. This feud of theirs will have to be brought to an end. Maybe there'll be plenty of trouble. If it's allowed to go on, I'm afraid there will be. What lawman do? The sheriff... Ah. Everything he could, Tonto, but it hasn't been enough. Oh. And he's been at a disadvantage. Why that? Like almost everyone else in this district, he's a friend of Charlie Teal's. He tries to get along with Zeb, of course, but it's difficult for him to hide his dislike. Naturally, Zeb sees that and resents it. Perhaps being strangers, we'll do better. Ah. Zeb, bad fella. He's a man whose soul has been poisoned by hatred. Ah. He knows that he's as wealthy as Charlie, if not even wealthier. His herds are as large. His range is almost limitless. He commands credit to almost any amount at the bank. And he's found that isn't enough. Uh, what you mean? It's one of those strange quirks of personality. In spite of his wealth and power, he hasn't a real friend in the world. He knows that. And day after day, year in and year out, he's had to see Charlie secure in the respect and regard of his neighbors. Well, he even can't buy a surface respect. Uh -huh. Which explains, I think, his craving to imitate Charlie in every way. Whatever Charlie does, Zeb attempts to imitate. Ah, uh, him he big fool. When he learns that imitation can never equal the real thing... Oh, wait. Here we are, Kimasabi. Pull uh, up. Oh, 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 Silver. Oh, oh. oh I... See? That's Zeb's place over there. Ah. Uh. Over this way is where Charlie lives. There's a deep canyon dividing their range. If you look where I'm pointing, you'll be able to just make it out. 
Hello, what's that? Uh, me see it. Isn't that two horsemen? Uh, them ride plenty fast. In fact... What you think? Looks as if one were chasing the other. See? They're about 20 or 30 yards apart. Uh. They must be following right along the rim of the canyon. Now, I... Listen. They're, lo- they're shot. Come on, Tonto. We'll find out. Look. What's up? Tonto, get hit. There. Him fall. Not right out of the saddle. Tonto, let's go. Uh, get him up, Scott. Come on, Scott. Hurry, boy. Hurry. <laughs> Easy there, old fellow. Take it easy, boy. We're friends. We're not here to harm you. Watch out for that fellow, Tonto. He's vicious. Uh, me watch out. Now, let's see what's happened here. This is where the one fellow we saw dropped from the saddle. There's his horse over there. Uh. The fellow who shot him kept going. He headed into the mesquite patch there and disappeared. Not right. We'll see what we can do about picking up his trail later. The thing to do now is find out what happened to the man who was wounded. And Tonto. What matter? I think I can tell you now who that man was. Who that? Look at the dog, Tonto. Uh-huh. Him black feller. Don't you recall who owned a dog like that? Uh-huh. Feller named Zeb. Right. I've got an idea what's become of him. Here. From the signs, he must have been just about here when he fell. Not two feet from the canyon's edge. Uh-huh. I don't know if he was wounded badly enough, but if he went over... You come. What is it? You look down there. Not too close to the edge, Kimosabe. Not too careful. You look. I see nothing but those rocks below there. Uh... Yes, Tonto. Now I see what you mean. Uh, what do you think? Tonto, there's been murder done. Uh... That man's dead. <laughs> Doggone it all. I put them reward notices in this desk somewhere. And if they ain't to be found, why well, reckon I... What the... Mass man! Carol, keep your hands from those guns. What are this you... This isn't a hold-up, and I'm not an outlaw. I brought you news. Huh? Of murder. What are you... Sheriff, a friend of mine and I were riding toward the canyon that divides Zeb Crump's range from Charlie Teal's. From a distance, we saw a running gunfight. One man dropped from the saddle. What's that? The other rode on. We lost his trail on that malpie over there. But the other hmm? will be waiting for you when you get there. He, he's dead? Yes. Mass man. Who is he? We thought he'd better not be touched until you could get on the scene. Uh, you showed sense. So we didn't attempt to get down to where he was. But if I'm not mistaken... What? That man, Zeb Crump. Well, you're crazy, mister. It can't be. That'd it mean I that... know, Sheriff. It would mean that he was shot by Charlie Teal. Well, I'll be... Settle up, Sheriff. We'll take you there. This dead rat path here. Only way to get down to the bottom of the canyon, but it's almost worse than no path at all. We're almost there. All right, Tonto. Uh, We made it. I thought I was going to bust my neck a dozen times over. Now, which way was it, mass man? To your right. Come along. Lead the way. You know where you've seen him. It isn't far. Well, thanks for that. But I'm thinking of climbing up again. That's going to be a chore. We saw him in those rocks you see ahead of us. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right, Hunter? Uh-huh. That's right. Here's the place. Circle this boulder here and we... Sheriff, he's gone. What? In... Strange, are you sure this is the place? You sure you ain't made any mistake? Look for yourself, Sheriff. This is where he fell. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Well, even so, mister, you did make a mistake. Yes? You said he was done for, but he couldn't have been. How he lived through a fall like that, I don't know. But he done it all right. If he hadn't, he couldn't have got up and walked away. But, Sheriff, he didn't. Huh? I wasn't mistaken. He was killed. What makes you think that he... Read the sign, Sheriff. Look at those boot prints. Well, I'll be switched. The murderer came back and carried him away. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger and his companions discovered the dead man had disappeared, they lost no time in starting for the top of the canyon. The difficulty of the ascent made it impossible to talk. But as they neared the rim, they heard a mournful sound. It reached them faintly at first, but gradually became clearer. You hear that, mess, man? I do. That dog? Yeah, funny thing, ain't it? That's Blackie. Old Zeb didn't have a human friend in the world. Mean to animals he was, too. But all that's something a dog just don't take into account. Mean as Zeb was, Blackie's up there mourning him just the same as if he'd been the finest hound we ever wore out saddle leather. Loyalty is bred in their nature, Sheriff. Perhaps there's a lesson in that for us. Hmm? What do you mean? Maybe we should take more trouble to value men by their good qualities and less to condemn them for their bad. Uh, that's funny talk for a mess, man. And there's nothing to do with the problem we're up against right now. That suggests that just as soon as we reach the top. Rifle shots. Get down, Doc. No, keep climbing. Those shots are being fired at us. We'll be safer up above. Come on. Uh, climb as fast uh, as you can. Uh, I almost slipped. Uh, you climb. Me help. Give me your hand, Tano. Uh, we haven't much farther. Keep going. We're with you. <laughs> Here we are. Make it. I'm all right. Up with you, Tano. Now well, then, where is that hombre, huh? Where's he gone to? It's impossible to tell. If I could just get my hands on that skunk... But I'm I... afraid you won't. But why? There's I... no way of telling just where those shots came from. Could have been anywhere over in there. That section's too broken up. We could spend days looking for a sign of that gunman and still not find him. The dirty cry, Gulch. He was picking on that. Oh, go on, mass man. I just can't savvy this. No? I can see how Zeb might have pestered Charlie. He just couldn't stand it no longer. But why would Charlie shoot at us? Him and me was good friends. When a man's life is at stake, he might do anything. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's so. But still, I... Yes? Uh, I'd rather explain it by saying Charlie had gone clean loco. Didn't know what he was doing. Because the Charlie T line knew wouldn't have harmed a fly. You're going back to town? Uh-huh. I'll have plenty to do. You'd better send deputies to both ranches to be sure their owners are missing. Yeah. And send out wanted notices for Charlie. Well, come on, mass men. Let's get back to the horses. <laughs> What's the matter? Huh? What's that? Is something wrong, Tanner? I may not know. He's uneasy about something, Sheriff. We've traveled together for so long, I can recognize the signs without Tanner speaking. Me watch. Back trail. Why, Kimasabi? I think maybe follow, follow. Following us? Ah. Do you suspect someone's following Tanner? Or do you know he is? I may not know. Oh? A Tanner watch. Keep watch, Tanner. But if we are being followed, try to do it without giving yourself away. Uh-huh. I suppose that hombre figured if he kept on our trail, he'd get another chance to finish what he tried to start back at the canyon. It's possible. But it seems to me... Hold on. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. What's the matter? Uh, Sheriff, those shots fired back at the canyon weren't fired at us. Huh? I'm certain of it. I should have known at the time. But my gosh. Thanks, it... Sheriff. Where were we when we heard those shots? Well, we was climbing that path. And we're still almost 50 feet from the top. Sure, Those but... shots didn't come from anywhere near the edge of the canyon. Oh, we could have located them. What are you getting at? Those shots came from a point at least three or four hundred yards back from the canyon. That's right. Well, in that case, Sheriff, how could the man who fired them have been able to see us in order to aim? Well, I'll be... Mass man, that never occurred to me at all. Nor to me, Sheriff, until just now. Mm, you're right. But if he wasn't shooting at us, then who... Then he had another object. I think we can be sure that anyone wandering around in that district wasn't amusing himself in target practice. And don't talk foolish. Outside of target practice, you don't fire at an object that isn't alive. Well, what... But what other living object was around back there except ourselves? The dog. Correct. But if that ain't crazy... Crazy, Sheriff? I don't be too sure. There might have been an excellent motive, and we could just see what happened through the eyes of that fellow with a rifle. But a dog! Shooting at a dog that wouldn't harm nobody, wasn't bothering nobody, I... Well, if you can make anything out of that mess, man, then you got me licked to a frazzle. I can see just one explanation. Well, let's hear it. No. But you just For the said... present, it sounds too incredible. Sheriff, when you reach town, it'll be dusk. Mm -hmm. We'll ride part of the way with you. When we leave... We'll cut over to that small patch of woods this side of the ridge. What have you got in mind? You'll go on to town as if nothing had happened out of the ordinary. When you get there, 
Do the things that would have been expected of you. Send deputies to both ranches. Get word around that Charlie Teal is wanted for murder. But at the first opportunity... Hmm? Slip away from your office without being seen. Ride just as fast as you can for the ridge. We'll be waiting for you. And then what? And then, Sheriff, we'll learn why a murderer wanted to kill a dog. All right, let's go. Get up. Get Come up, on, Silver. Get him up, Silver. Come on, fellas. Come on. Come on. Come on. nine, Tutter. Sheriff should have been here. If he doesn't arrive within a few minutes, we'll have to go on without him. Ah. Uh, Wait. That horse? Maybe him now. Sheriff? That's you, mess man? Right. Oh, oh, there, fellow. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, there. Oh, boy. You late? Yeah, I had one dickens of a time getting away. When folks heard about Zeb being killed and Charlie Turner and killer, I thought they'd go crazy. They had so many questions, I just about had to take my guns to him to get him out of the office. Well, now, where are we going? Back to the canyon. I'm banking on two things. Yeah? One, that the dog will continue his vigil at the point where his master met death. Oh, he likely be there, all right. And two, the Tata was correct, that someone was following us this afternoon. What's that got to do with it? If he was, he must have been the fellow who fired at the dog. Uh Uh-huh. And if he followed you to town, then he hasn't had time to return. Return where? To the canyon. Well, why would he do that? To make another attempt on that dog's life. You're way ahead of me, masked man. And let's hope the killer isn't way ahead of us. You want to see justice done, Sheriff? Ride like you've never ridden before. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scott. Get up. Get up. Oh, Silver, away! If you must speak, speak softly. There's no use advertising our presence. You're the boss. Yeah, that's that dog. Yes. We leave the horses here where they'll be out of sight. They'll stay with them. Mm-hmm. Come along. Keep to the shadows. We go this way. You take the lead, Hunter. Uh. Just where we're headed now. We want to find a place of concealment as close to the dog as possible. When the fellow comes back, he'll have to get close himself in order to get good aim at night. Yeah. And then we grab him. Right. Yeah, good place. By these rocks? Uh. Very well. Get down, Sheriff. We can do nothing now but wait. Massman. Yes? What time is it? Almost midnight. Two hours. We've been here two hours. You honestly think that hombre's going to show up? I know he will. How can you be so all fired certain? The dog's still alive. If he had to kill him before, the necessity must still be just as great. And why didn't he rush right back here and get it over with? He's possibly playing it safe. Yeah? I've got an idea that, just like us, he's somewhere close. But remember, if he's captured, it means his death. He's going to take every precaution to make sure he won't be interrupted again, as he was this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Likely so. Be patient, Sheriff. It'll be worth it. Oh, I'm trying to. But you know, Mass Man. What's wrong? I... I kind of wish I hadn't come with you. Yes? Why? Oh, I don't know. I think I understand. Hmm? It's the thought of arresting a man who's been your friend, having to hang him afterwards. Well, you hit it, mess, man. If I'd ever known someday I was going to have a job like this to do, I, I'd never run for sheriff. The lawman doesn't have an easy time of it. Poor Charlie. Show sure must have gone clean out of his head. You won't. You look. What's up? Hush, now. What is it? Look. There. The shadow, Sheriff. Yeah, and by Tonkett, that shadow's moving. We cannot wait. But listen, it... Watch, Sheriff. If he continues on that course, he'll come directly between us and the dog. Yeah. That'll be the time for us to strike. I guess you're right. Now silence until I give the word. He stopped, mess man. He's lifting something. He's aiming. Come on. Get that man. Hey, Stand right where you are, Charlie. I'll have to let you have it. Got that gun. Don't move. Get back. Get back, or I'm shooting you. Got that gun, I said. That rat shoot. All right, take it. Ah, you hit gun. Charlie, I'm arresting you in the name of the law. Stand up and... Yes, sir. Mass man. Mass man. Well? This ain't Charlie. It's... It's Zeb. Well, 
Well, masked man, you've done a job to be proud of. This poor cat I got handcuffed to the saddle here is going to hang. But you've kept everything so all fired secret. Sheriff, Zeb gave himself away when he fired at the dog. And yet, if possible, the dog had to be killed. I don't savvy. It's clear enough. The murderer wanted the dog out of the way. It had to be for a reason. Mm -hmm. There was just one thing the killer was worrying about then. Discovery and capture. Sure, I'll grant that. Zeb owned a black dog. We knew either Zeb or Charlie had been killed. Naturally, when we saw a black dog mourning the death of its master, we assumed that Zeb had been the victim and Charlie the murderer. That's right. But in that case, how could Zeb's dog give Charlie away? Charlie was already known to be the killer. The dog's death would have gained him nothing. That's where I was puzzled. Only one possibility remained. If Charlie had nothing to gain by the dog's death, then Zeb did. But I still... And if Zeb had something to gain, then he was still alive, and Charlie had died. But the black dog... Wasn't black. His coat had been dyed. You'll learn I'm right. Well, doggone. It was a perfect plot. You had sent out a description of Charlie as a murderer, not Zeb. Zeb, once he was out of the territory where he was known, would have been perfectly safe. But first, before he left... He had to get rid of the dog so I would never find out the trick he played. And that's the answer, Sheriff. Yep. Uh, uh, well, there's your prisoner. And someday we may meet again. Come, Tonto. Uh -huh. Hey, wait up. Oh, get him up, oh, scout. Oh, oh. Hold on there. I want to... Uh, cleared out. Well, Zeb, you ain't leaving. Hang on to the saddle. You're headed for the calaboose. Get up. Get up there, boy. Come on, boy. Get up. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>